This server is filled with evil players. And out of all these players, some of the worst are Mafic and Rochambeau, my closest teammates. The three of us have done a lot together, like trapping four players in a prison just to make the server a little more active, and covering the entire server in Obsidian so it wouldn't be blown up. However, every single time we do something like this, I feel a little uncomfortable. Unlike them, it's really hard for me to do something that negatively impacts the entire server. So in order to fit in on this team, I need to get over my insecurities and try my hardest to become as evil as I possibly can, potentially even becoming the most evil player on this server. However, I can't really achieve this goal right now because all I have are diamond pants. Please don't laugh at me, oh my god. Anyways, let me introduce you to my awesome plan to get rich. Step 1, sell your soul to this guy named Leowook and buy a membership to a store known as the APO. Step 2, convince him you're one of the richest players on the server so that he lets you in. Step 3, buy a full set of netherite off of him. And step 4, go on a killing spree against the entire server and become the most evil player like you wanted to. But wait, dramatic plot twist! My closest ally Mapic thinks that me joining the APO is betraying him somehow? Like, all I did was sign up for this kid's store. I just did the Minecraft equivalent of buying a Costco membership. But nope, Prince Sam has to be betraying Napix somehow. So yeah, I just lost the trust of the guy that I'm doing all of this for. And to make matters worse, Leo Wood's store just got robbed of literally everything in it. And he thinks that I had something to do with it. Mainly because the main suspect is Mapic, which I mean, makes a lot of sense. Like, it's totally on brand for Mapic to just rob a bunch of netherite sets for no reason. But anyways, he thinks I'm doing it, and I'm panic messaging Mapic and non-stop. And after a little bit, we came to an agreement. If I gave Mapic information about the APO, he'd trust me again and wouldn't kick me off of our team. So for the next hour, me and Mapic convinced Leo that I was no longer affiliated with Mapic whatsoever. And then after we got bored of that, I gave Mapic some TNT and he blew up the APO's headquarters. So in retaliation, Leo Wook ordered me to fight Mapic. So we start fighting and I almost die right off the no. bat. And then for some reason, I decide to miss all my shots on purpose, which results in me getting my totem popped and Leo telling me to run from the fight. And just like that, we successfully tricked Leo into thinking that I'm on his side and not at all associated with Mapic. So after getting back to my base, while still in call with Leo, he begins telling me some of the secrets of the APO. Specifically, why he even formed the APO in the first place. Now, I was really curious because I figured the APO was literally just a store and had no ulterior motive. But it turns out, the only reason Leo started the APO was so that he could get robbed and then start a war over it. So naturally, I told Mapic about all of this, and it turns out that the only reason he robbed the store was because a player named Parrot paid him to do it. Now, this got me really curious, because if I remembered correctly, Parrot and Leowook were somewhat associated at some point. So it was totally possible that this entire thing was being orchestrated by Leo and Parrot from the very beginning. And I really wasn't a fan of potentially getting played by these two. On top of this, it was very blatantly obvious that the APO was trying to take over Spawn in some way or another. And because because of those two things, I decided to tell Mapic that I wanted to go to war against the APO with him. So from this day forward, Mapic and I were devoted to each other and our goal. No matter what happened, no matter what it took, we'd kill every single individual player that has bought an APO membership, all for the sole purpose of taking down Leowook, crushing his organization, and becoming as evil as possible so I can fit in with my teammates. No matter how many hearts I'd lose in the process, no matter what methods I'd use to do it, I was going to kill every last player with an APO membership, and I was 100% certain about it. So in order to get this plan in motion, I decided to start with my first target as Planet Lord. Planet and his allies are known as the Three Heart Trio. This is because on the Lifesteal SMP, every time you kill someone, you steal one of their hearts, and they choose to stay around three hearts. Now because of this, Planet is the weakest member of the APO, which made him a perfect candidate for the first person we'd kill. Plus, if we were to kill him, he'd probably get back up from the other APO members almost immediately. To make things even better for us, one of his allies, Jaren, is currently banned from the server because they lost all their hearts. And today was going to be the day they were planning on reviving 
driving him. So we were going to go to the exact area where Jaren was banned, place his bed back where it used to be, and as soon as he respawned, we'd kill him again and draw out his allies. One small issue, however, we didn't know exactly where his bed was, so we just placed a bunch of them all over the place and just hoped he'd respawn in one of them. And after a few minutes, he did! So we killed him, covered his bed in obsidian, and now hopefully, Planet Lord, as well as his allies on the APO, should be on their way. And after a few minutes of waiting, we got our confirmation when we saw Pangy, another APO member, approach the scene. However, when we attacked him, he claimed he was only here to watch, which made it super obvious that he was just a distraction. And we found out the hard way when we saw a bunch of invis particles breaking all of the beds around the obsidian we placed. These particles obviously belong to Planet and Bacon, who managed to break every single bed except for the one that Jaren was at. So when they ran away thinking they won, Jaren respawned and was killed immediately. Afterwards, I began chasing around Bacon and he pulled out TNT and started placing it around the bed. However, because we placed water everywhere, the TNT was completely useless, but Jaren had already respawned, so we were able to kill him again. Now Jaren was only one death away from being banned, making him a lot more hesitant to respawn, which was absolutely perfect because now we could leave the bed without worrying about him getting away. So I waited until I found Planet Lord and left the bed to chase him down. I need this kill. I want my 10th heart, Planet. Yeah. Popped him. <laughs> Get him. Nice. Another pop. He was another one. <laughs> Got him. Just like that, Planet was defeated. Along with Bacon Waffles, forcing our enemies to give up for the day and leaving Jaren on the respawn screen. So we decided to move on to Pangy, who annoyingly only watched the fight between us and Three Heart Trio. This guy has 20 hearts, yet didn't do anything. He just said, I don't want to fight today. Anyways, me and Mavic start rushing him and he starts running and boating and purling and boating until eventually he gets a dolphin and then swims away and makes another portal and just gets away from us and logs out for the night. That was the most boring thing ever. Pangy is off the list. Anyways, have you guys heard of this YouTuber named Wembu? Because me and him are having a subscriber race and oh my god, he's beating me so much. Guys, we are losing so badly. Please help Please, I stand with you guys. Please, please. Please. Anyways, now that I was done with a third of the APO's members, I decided to go after one of the most interesting members they had. His name was Subs and he decided to renounce violence violence at the beginning of the season. However, since then, he's been dragged into countless fights and is kind of doing a really bad job at being a pacifist, I'll be honest. However, the most interesting part about him is his base. It has literally every single farm in Minecraft and also it's super far away, like it's impossible to get there, oh my god. Anyways, instead of just killing subs, we were also going to blow up his entire base. And this idea didn't come from me or Mapic, it was once again something Parrot hired Mapic to do. Now this was really confusing because I was convinced Parrot and Subs were on good terms. They've helped each other out numerous times in the past, so why would Parrot want to do this? And on top of that, it also kind of disproves my theory of Parrot and Leo working together, because why would Parrot want to hurt an APO member if he's working with the leader of APO? Maybe it was part of some master plan, or maybe he had nothing to do with it and it was just some random request. Regardless, Mapic really wanted to do it anyways, and in the end, all I really had was a theory, so there was nothing I could do. So I ended up just staying quiet and going along with it. However, little did any of us know, blowing up Subs' entire base would change the server forever. Anyways, in order to pull this off, I was going to blow up the base with Spoke while Mapic and Subs had their own little duel around the explosions. So I got on top of Subs' creeper farm and began waiting for my signal. And after letting them talk for a little bit, I ignited the TNT and the entire creeper farm was gone within an instant. And as I watched Mapic and Subs fight one another, I began blowing up more and more of Subs' base. A lot more than Mapic said I should have. Hours upon hours, thousands of items, all gone. Nearly every single farm in Subs' base wasn't functional anymore. All because of what I had done. I even got his horse killed by riding it into the center of their battle. And the craziest part about all of it was that I didn't even feel that bad. After blowing up the entirety of Subs' base, I felt as if I had accomplished my goal. After months of being on Mapic and Rose team, I finally feel as if I can do things that are just as bad as the things they do. 
And to take it one step further, after a little bit of watching the fight, I decided to jump in, making it an unfair 2v1 and killing subs within an instant. I'd finally completed my goal. Although only half the APO members were killed, I felt more than fulfilled. However, the story is nowhere near over. As a matter of fact, we haven't even gotten to the best part. So if you're interested, please subscribe and stick around. Until then, I wish you all a very good night.